Hello and welcome to MATLAB course. This is Salem. In this video, I'm going to talk about the hold on function in MATLAB. Let's start. So, what is the advantage of hold on? So, let me explain. In MATLAB, to plot several data or several plots at the same figure, there are several ways, and here we learn the two functions. The first one is we learn about the plot x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3 to xn, yn. So in that sense, we can draw different figure at the same plot. And the second option to do that is to use the hold on function. But why we learn the hold on? We already know about the plot x1, y1, x2, y2, and it was very nice for us. The limitation is for the plot x1, y1, x2, y2, etc. is that if we need to change the format or the style between the, the two figures or the two curves, sometimes some function is difficult to do that using the plot x1, y1, x2, y2, etc. For example, in the, this curve, the line width was 0.8, while in this curve, the line width was 2. So we change the line width and it, it, we can do that using the plot x1, y1. And also we change the marker face color. It means the fill here, we use cyan. And the fill here, we use magenta. And we can't do that using the plot x1, y1, x2, y2. So the plot x1, y1, x2, y2, x2, y2, etc., it is limited to advance the blot in a certain stage, and we should use at this time the hold on. Let's check the details. For example, in the blot x1, y1, x2, y2, of course we can change the line style between x1, y1, and x2, y2. For example, we can change the line color, the line style, the marker style for each of x1, y1, and x2, y2. So in the first part, no problem. The problem in, in the second part. In the second part, we have the property name and property value, which include line width, marker size, the marker edge color, marker face color. The problem is they are common between x1, y1, and x2, y2. So we can change the line width, for example, for x1, y1 to make it 2 and x2, y2 to, for example, to be 4 or 10 or 0.5, something like that. We can't change because they are common now. In that sense, the advantage of hold on, they give us kind of more control about each figure. We need to adjust. And to do so, so it's simply speaking, we write plot x1, y1 and then change the line and marker style and write property name and property value. After that, we say hold on. It means keep the figure and then define x2, y2 and then define line and marker style and then property name and property value. If we finish to add for this figure, just turn off the hold off. So let's learn what is a hold on and hold off mean. For the hold on, it means keep the current figure until to add more plot for that figure. And to hold off, it means keep the figure off so we don't need to add more for that. What does this mean? Okay, let me explain as a, if we have a code. Consider this a code. And we have x1, y1, x2, y2 as a data. We just enter as a vectors or, or etc. And then we plot x1, y1 using the line and marker style and property name, property value. We adjust everything. For example, we change the marker fill as a CN and the line width as 1.5, etc. After doing that, we write hold on. It means keep this window. Don't close. Keep this window. Don't close that window. And then we write plot x2, y2 and change the line and marker style property name and property value. For example, we use different like the, 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 the marker face color or different line widths or different marker size. We can change whatever we need. And when we finish formatting the second one and to add more and more and more and we finish, we just write hold off. It means we don't need to add more for this figure. That's enough for us 
if we draw again draw in the new figure that the meaning of hold on it means keep the figure until we finish drawing and hold off we finish adding to that the current figure and of course after hold on and hold off you need to add more things for example we learn how to insert the legend the text the labeled x labeled y labeled so once we finish the hold off after that we can insert whatever we need for example we can add x value x x labeled y labeled the legend the title the x text like the add text in the in the figure and please don't consider the order so we can put hold off after this or before the insert it is it's no problem that they will understand that x labeled y labeled the legend will be added to this plot let's take example to understand that for example plot the function y1 which is sine x y2 cosine x for that range of x between 0 to 360 degree at the figure and there is no format needed so we have two options to do that we can do that using the plot x1 y1 x2 y2 or the hold on let's consider both in the live script if we open the live script now we have the, the question and the first one is to plot x1 y1 x2 y2 or to use hold on okay let me define first x y1 and y2 so x it will be the line space between 0 360 and maybe let's consider 40 element and semicolon to separate the output and then let's write y1 which is equal to sine d because the x is in degree and then to x and let's put semicolon to separate the output y2 which is equal to cosine d again to the x and semicolon to suppress the output and then plot x comma y1 comma x comma y2 and then let's run ah this is y1 run and now we have the output we can do the same result if we just copy the input and then let's have the plot x comma y1 if we run the section now in the this curve which is connected to this part we plot x y1 and then enter and we said hold on wait we need to add more for that and then plot and then x comma y2 and then after we finish we we just need we can write hold off and then run the section and now we have the two curves add here so he finished the first drawing the first one hold on and then add this one and then we finish after doing that we can add whatever we need for example we can add the title as for example just test run section and let's check here and we have the test and of course before hold on if we give a space and we put x label and we can write here for example x dash values and then run the section and let's check here we have the x value as a label and we can add the y value after the hold off no problem so y label it could be like amplitude and then run the section and now we have the y label here so it is no problem for that let's check the second question for the second question we need to blow the same y1 which is sine x y2 which is cosine x for the range from 0 to 360 degree at the same figure but we need for the x1 y1 this curve we need the line which is points at it and for the x y2 we need the line which is 4 if the line which is different this is property name and property value it's common in the in the case of plot y1 x1 y1 x2 y2 we can change so in that sense we need to use hold on we can't use the plot multiple x and y 
So in that sense, let's define the input, which is x, y1, y2, no problem for that. And then let's plot the first one, which is plot, and then x, comma, y1, comma, and then let's define the line width as for the first one, 0.7. Let's run this to check what would be the output. Okay, we have the first one. And then enter. If we write hold on. And then we write plot x comma y2 comma. And then we need line width. And in that sense, the line width would be 4. And then after that, we don't need. So we can write hold off. And then run the section. Now we have the second curve is, is more bold. Of course, if we go here to check in that case, for example, when we plot multiple x and y, and we write the line width, and we press tab to continue, and we write, for example, 1.5, pause will be 1.5 all the figures 1.5 and if we try for example to add after that line widths 1.5 so we have line widths for x1 y1 line widths for x2 y2 and let's for example consider this as a 4 this will give error just run this is error because we can't use devil or two or multiple line property name and a property name and property value at the same figure we can do that we should remove this part because it is common between x1 y1 and x2 y2 of course if we need to make it four which is common between both is it okay we can do that but we can't ah double comma run now it became four no problem and Let's practice. For the brackets, plot the function. We have 3x cubed minus 26x plus 6 and its derivative, which is yd equal to 9x squared minus 26 for the x between minus 2 to 4. And we need to draw the, the function and its derivative at the same figure, considering the following format. For x and y, so it is solid line with a circle marker. The marker face color is cyan and marker size is 4. And for the second one, it is between x and y d. So we need to draw as a dashed line and with diamond marker. And the, the marker face color is red and marker size is 3. So the marker, marker face color and marker size both as property name and property value. And once it changes between the figures, we should use hold on, not the blot x1, y1, x2, y2, etc. So we can define that as x is equal to, and then the x between minus 2 to 4, so we can use line space, and then we write minus 2, 4, and maybe the number is 40, semicolon to suppress the output, and then y is equal to, and then 3 multiply to x. This is scalar multiply to vector, so we don't need the dot, so multiply to, x to the power x is okay and then to the power but x is a vector so power of a vector should be dot power so we should use dot to the power and then we write 3 and then minus 26 multiplied to x and then plus 6 semicolon to suppress the output and then yd which is equal to 9 multiplied to x square so x and then use dot to the power because this is kind of the power of a scalar power or vector so it should be dot operation and then this is it will be 2 and then minus 26 semicolon to suppress the output and then let's plot the first one which is plot x comma y and let me use hold on and then write plot x comma yd and then hold off and let me just run <clears throat> to check without format so now we have the two curve 
if we need to format so the first one it will be solid and the circle marker solid mean dash circle it mean o and then run to check what will happen so now we have the like the the circle with a dot and the face color the marker face color and marker size is four okay marker face color marker face color and comma it is cyan and the uh, marker size equal four and run so now we change the size marker is smaller and the face color is cyan for the second one we need to change to dash line with a diamond dash with a diamond and uh, just run before advance so now we have diamond and dash and then let's make the marker face color is red okay so marker face color it is red and if we need to make the marker size color is three so we can make marker size and then tab to write the size is three and then run section and now we have the plot it's is completed and it's very nice and we can format and of course if we need to enter the legend for example the legend and we can write the legend for example for the first one is xy and for the second one is for example x dash yd for example and then run the section and now we have the legend as we write and of course we can change the location as we learned it in the previous video location and then tab to continue and then for example let's consider the best as a test and then run the section and the best he's selected as a northwest corner so during that video we learned the hold on and advantage for the hold on is that it means that we draw the first plot and do whatever we need and whatever we wish and then go to the next plot and do whatever we need and whatever we wish for the format so hold on is keeping the figures so we can add more and more figures and we can change the format for this figure and after we finish we just say hold off so hold on and plot x1 y1 x2 y2 is a tool to draw multiple figure at the same window but both have advantage and disadvantage that's all for this video thank you bye bye